your uh, defensive back tip kind of oh, tested God. today. It was tested very well too. Um, and really, my hats off to the way uh, the way uh, Captain and um, and uh, Dante and uh, Lorenzo Doss practice. I mean, those three guys, you know, he pulled Yeoman's work today and really did some good things out there. So it was uh, most certainly tested. But uh, hopefully, we'll get a couple guys back tomorrow. Ron, what's allowed Mario uh, Addison to become? He kind of came in with a reputation as being just a speed rusher, and now right. he's kind of developed into an every down player. How did he, how was he able to make that? Well, I think a big part of it is, is, is he takes coaching very well. I mean, smart guy, he understands, he gets it, and he took coaching. You know, a lot of guys fight it, you know, this is what I do, and, and stick to it. But Mario tried to grow his game, and I, and I you got to give him credit for, for, for being open minded about learning how to do things. Um, and, and I think also just his commitment. I mean, he works very hard at it. You know, in the off season, he, he's never come back not in shape. He's always come back ready to play. And, uh, and I think that's a big part of why he's had success. You mentioned Captain and Doss. Could, could those guys work their way into the conversation for outside spots? Well, the nice thing about Captain, and, and Captain's done a great job, and, and, and he's playing nickel about as good as I've seen him. I mean, even back you know four or five years ago when he was here with us to begin with. Um, and, and they have a chance, but uh, he's firmly, Captain's firmly entrenched right now as the nickel. He's doing a great job. He's working very hard. Um, and he did some good things today. I'm, I'm, and, and, and it's by, by no means, Joe, is that, that out of the conversation. Think about the way he handled last year because it did bug him. And he, he it did bug him. It, it bugged him. It bugged me, and he knows it. I mean, he and I had a great conversation at, 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 at the end of the year about next, you know, about this coming season, about getting ready to play and compete and everything, and he took it to heart. And, and you know, he, he did some stuff this off season that, you know, that showed that he was committed to it and, and, and is showing right now in the practice field, and I'm, I'm very pleased with that. You know, we lost count of his snaps in the game. I don't know if he told you that, but we, we did, and, and we pulled him out before we should have. So, you know, we're going we're gonna to get him some extra ones on, on this coming week, but he, he's done a great job. He really, I can't say enough about how hard he's working right now. A lot now. of players, when he complained, they uh, strike against him. Y'all didn't seem to hold that against him. Really. Oh, no, I don't I, I, no, no, because, you know, because at least he listened when he complained. And uh, I heard him out and he heard me out. And, and he's been great. He really has. I mean, he, he, he's a very mature professional football player. And, you know, because of it, he came back ready to, ready to roll and, and he's going to show us. And, and, I, and I, I hope he does because then that means, you know, we're having some, some good luck with him. Personal day for Kiva. Yes. His wife had a baby last night, late last night. And um, so he was with, uh, with her and, uh, and the child this morning. Um, I guess it went late into the morning. So. Uh, you know, excused him, and he should hopefully be back later tonight or tomorrow morning. Looks like Pep's getting closer. Yes, Pep's Pep's been doing a great job. Um, he, you know, we cleared him. He's been gradually working. Worked very hard with uh, with uh, Joe Kin the other day up up in Buffalo, and, and, and he really put him to task today. They, they put him through an awful lot, and uh, he is. He's, he's getting another step, um, and we'll see. I mean, you know, I, I really don't anticipate using him during the preseason. Um, but I do anticipate him continuing to work with everybody like he's starting to right now. How many players do you think would not be in preseason be ready? I mean, there's a number of pros, the guys that have been in the league long enough to know how to do it. Um, but he's special. I mean, he really is to play as long as he has and at the level he did last year. Um, and, uh, and, and I believe based on some of the things I've watched with him, um, especially the other day in Buffalo, um, I think he's well on his way again. You would still think he'd be okay for week one? Oh, absolutely. I, I, I think that's what we're targeting more than anything else. Are you okay with the plays with the helmet leading uh, what you saw? Yes, yes, I was fine with it. Um, and, and even, you know, I, I talked to Alberto Riveron and we, we discussed some of the things um, afterwards. And, and, and I can't fault the referees for, for any of the calls they made. Um, I could almost say that if there, there might have been one or two more that they could have called if they really, really wanted to get down and be really, really technical about it. But just the fact that you know, there's awareness out there, I think, is important because it is about player health and safety right now. And we're trying to get it right. I mean, you know, I, I was fortunate enough to play in a time when, when I don't think you know, we used the head as much and the helmets, you know, because the helmets were different. Uh, but I think these young men today just got to understand that you know, it is about health and safety and, and they got to play smart. Would you anticipate Daryl starting out on IR? Daryl Williams. Oh, um, that's tough to say. I mean, um, I, I know that he's been working uh, back back in, in Charlotte with the with the uh, trainers up there, and uh, we'll see how he is when we get back to uh, to camp or when we break camp on Monday. What's it like as a coach to kind of have a situation where you're, put, where you're putting a young guy in, Taylor Moten, in this example, in this case? I know you praised him a lot uh, after his performance.
performance against Buffalo. What's it like to kind of see him have to grow up really fast mid-game? Well, I mean, we've, we've done it before, Jordan. I mean, you know, I mean, you start with Cam. I mean, we put Cam in the starting lineup from the beginning. We did the same thing with Luke. I mean, every year I've been here, we've had at least one rookie start. And so we, we get it. We understand how it is. And, you know, I, I like to praise the coaches because they do the extra things that they do, the little things that, that, that you need to do to get these guys on the field. Um, it is a little kind of scary at times, especially you wonder about, well, okay, who's he coming up against this way? You know, and, and, and based on things like that, there's a way to help him. There's a way to protect him and, and help him in terms of making sure we, we get those things blocked up. So um, it, there is some concern, but I'll tell you right now, just watching Taylor and talking with him, he's practicing right now with a lot of confidence. He seems to have a lot of composure about the situation. I know publicly mm -hmm. you, you act a certain way, but I mean, it sounds like behind closed doors he also seems to be very he, he really is very composed, and, and he understands it. I, he, he's a bright young man, very, very intelligent. He understands things. He gets it. He works at it. And I think that's a big part of it because he works so hard. I, I think that gives him confidence, knowing that he, you know, know that I worked this hard, I can get it done.